brothers and sisters, I rejoice in your discovery. It is not so much the nutrients, the vitamins, the enzymes, the minerals, as it is the aliveness of the food that brings about healing. This marks an epoch, a world historic discovery. Your understanding is so desperately needed more than any other time when 35% of American men, 40% of women, and 17% of children and adolescents are obese. And tragically enough, closely associated with the epidemic of obesity is diabetes and serious illness. Is it any wonder then that for the first time in years the death rate for people living in the U.S. has risen? It is incumbent upon us to stand up and be counted, to affirm and exhilarate in life, not merely in the food we eat, but to express life in everything we do. For us, there is only one candidate, namely you. Who is more qualified? Who is more worthy? After all, was it not of you that Abraham Lincoln said, Is there any better or equal hope in the world? Lincoln knew beyond knowing whereof he spoke. No one peered more deeply into your soul, a soul that cries out so desperately every day amidst the icy loneliness and glacial isolation. You will affect the healing. You will affect the reconciliation. You will transform the lunarscapes into gardens for the human spirit. You will plant edible schoolyards, community gardens, and permaculture parks everywhere. We have reached the stage where there is nothing you cannot do. Just a few miles from here, right down the road, the Liberty ships were built. The first one took eight months. The last one, built in the closing days of World War II, took all of four days. That's right, 13,000 tons and a city block long. You worked there 24 hours a day under the arc lights. 100,000 of you. There isn't anything you cannot do. Lincoln surely waxed prophetic when he envisaged that this nation shall have a new birth of freedom. I ask, who is more qualified than you? We endorse you. You have our vote.